100 dice. Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 88 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. So uh, there's been no act activity since our last item on getting our item added to unlicensed, but um, this is January 2022. Ruby 3.1 came out on Christmas Day 2021, so we're going to do some maintenance and make sure that our GitHub actions work with um, uh, with Ruby 3.1. And for some reason, the drag and drop feature here is not working. I don't know why. Oh well, I'll deal with that offline. So let's go into our Git status here. We are in uh, our master for Nerd Dice. I will open things up in VS Code. There we go. So what we're going to do is first I'll see we are running 3.0.2. Switch to Ruby 3.1, run a bundle install. We'll did get a warning about. It just installed the version of Bundler that we we had there. Okay, so we will run our benchmark. Run our specs. That all seems to be working. Now we will go in and we will go to our GitHub workflows main.yaml here. We're going to add 3.1 to our list of Ruby versions that we're running our spec on and then for the um, RuboCop and Benchmark, we'll just switch so that we're only targeting the latest version. So we'll upgrade that from 3.0 to 3.1. Make sure RuboCop is still fine with 3.1. Oh. So it looks like I might need to go to my rubocop.yaml. Still 
getting errors with our RuboCop version here. Let me see if a new version's been released since Ruby 3.1 came out. So we're at Ruby Gems here. So 1.25.0 was released on January 18th, 2022. So might just be a matter of going into my gem spec here and updating my RuboCop versions. So I'm gonna take a look at my whole, um, my whole set of dependencies and make sure that we're good. I'll upgrade any that can be upgraded. All right, so I've made some updates to the gem spec for uh, RuboCop, RuboCop Performance, RuboCop R spec. We'll save that. We'll try a bundle update. And we'll try So we've got one offense, and then we've got some some new cops. So we will. So we'll try to autocorrect here. No offenses detected. Let's see what got changed here. So those are changes we made, changes related to the bundle update, the changes to the gem spec, and then we were able to get rid of the deprecated content constants um, disable in this version. We'll take a look now at the the changes we can add to our uh, rubocop.yaml. I typically don't do a all new cops enable, so we'll take a look at at these, see if they cause any problems. Yaml. Just kind of stuff these at the bottom of our file here. Maybe use Control Shift C. There we go. We will. Run again. Now we've got three changes, most of them related to file dot write and then All right, so I read through the gem spec require MFA. Um, it's 
enhances security and we'll, we'll uh, add those ones in as well. So I'll autocorrect. That seems to work. We'll take a look at how this affected our diff here. All right, changes to the Rubocop setting. Respect support. Okay. So the, the changes to file.open versus file.write, that's more concise. We'll change approved. We will go in and then at the end, spec.metadata. And then we got rid of the deprecated constants. Just go into that gem spec and put that metadata with the rest of the metadata. Try rerunning here. Specs all still are passing with 100% coverage. All right, so we will take a look at this. All this can be added. write our git commit message here. So I've got my commit message. I will save it here. There's a pretty good chance that the first time I try this, it's going to fail. So I will, I'll have to amend this command and commit, uh, amend this commit and force push if that doesn't work out for us. Something weird just happened with Okay. That looks good. We'll try pushing. We will check our actions here, see how this goes. And what do you know, our jobs completed on the first time. So 3.1 is here, RuboCop, Benchmark, all working. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to um, cherry pick this commit and um, backport it to the other stable versions we have here. So we've got um, the ones that have, so version 0.1x stable doesn't have a GitHub action associated with it at all, but uh, two, three, and four all do. So I'm going to attempt to, uh, to cherry pick that commit and uh, push it to um, those three branches and we'll see how that goes. So we have from our git log here. Oops. 
So we'll git checkout, start with version 0.4.x. We will, let me see if I can sign this, hold on. So it looks like I can just use the same capital S here. That seems to have succeeded. Cop seems okay. Our spec seems okay. So we've got that there. We are tracking the branch so we can get push here. I'm just going to kick this off on all of them, assuming it works locally, and then we'll rerun any GitHub actions that may have failed. So now we'll version 0.3.x stable. Same cherry pick. Ah, this has got conflicts. I think we'll just check out from from the commit on each of these. Workflows. Oh, we're gonna, we will have failed the yeah, 0 0.4 is going to have failed um, unless we amid, amend the commit and um, note the um, the change in version here. So my guess is if we go here, we will see that our push to zero point four. No, that's successfully built. Install here. All right, we're back to the versions we've got there. Make sure that. Rubocop is working. Our spec is working. Do git 
cherry pick continue. We have no change to our message. To the remote there. Version 0 0.2 stable. We've got conflicts again. Same ones. Necessary disabling of message spies. I'll auto correct it. Disable and enable there. that branch. We'll check the master back out just so I don't forget to do it later. And then so 0 0.3 stable passed. We'll wait for 0 0.2. Zero point two is also passed. Everything went green, which is unexpected, but I will not argue. Go over to our code. I'll take a look at our project here. We will try to move our Item to done. It's not going to work for some reason on this browser right now. I'm going to, on another window, try to move it over. And it works. So we've got our item done. And we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.